Miles Featherstone Rush, Hanley Prince Lou, and Rico Berry. Who are these people and why should you care? Well, let me tell you. Welcome to episode eight of Fun Fact Fridays, you guys. And today I'm going to tell you about three awesome people that are making a great impact on our oceans. Number one, Miles Featherstone Rush of Kids Saving Oceans. After watching episodes of Discovery Channel's Shark Week at the age of six, Miles was inspired enough to want to donate all $13 of his piggy bank to ocean conservation. Fast forward to February 2019 at the age of eight, Miles, with the help of his family, founded Kids Saving Oceans. It's a business where he sells clothing and accessories made of recyclable and sustainable materials while donating the proceeds to nonprofit groups protecting our planet. So far, he's been able to donate over $6,000 and his ultimate goal is to donate 1 million by the time he's 18. To help his cause, Miles also has discussions with other kids, businesses, and politicians on how our choices today can make a great impact on the future of the oceans. He also helps organize beach cleanups and helps in any other ways that he can where he can help the planet. He's a pretty inspiring kid, so if you'd like to learn more about him, his story, what he does, and the products that he sells, I will put the link right here for you for his website as well as in the description below. Number two, Hanley Prinsloo of I Am Water. Hanley is a professional free diver and has been for over a decade. Her love of diving has driven her to teach the sport to over 500 people over the years, and she is recognized as a world-class instructor. She is also the sales and public relations person for the nonprofit I Am Water, in which she is a co-founder along with Peter Marshall. It was founded in 2010 and promotes ocean conservation in the way of reconnecting people with nature. Located in South Africa, Prince Lou passionately connects underprivileged youth to the ocean by providing experiences for them to go swimming and snorkeling in the ocean. This is something that many of those kids there have never experienced or may never get to experience if it wasn't for her and this organization. I really connected to her story and her mission because I truly do feel that so much of our ocean's future relies on us teaching our children more about the oceans and helping foster their love of the oceans that much more. If you'd like to learn more about the I Am Water Foundation, I will put a website link right here as well as in the description below. Number three is Rick O'Berry of the Dolphin Project. Oh, Rick O'Berry. I didn't really know much about this person until recently. I had watched the Cove documentary that he had done a while back, which I'll get to in a minute, but I didn't really know much about him per se. So let me give you some details about him. Rick O'Berry had founded the Dolphin Project back in 1970. It is dedicated to the welfare and protection of dolphins around the world by educating the public on dolphin captivity, as well as the release and retirement of captive dolphins. As per their website, their mission is to end dolphin exploitation and slaughter as dolphins are routinely captured, harassed, slaughtered, and sold into captivity around the world, all in the name of profit. It was through Dolphin Project that in 2009, the Academy Award-winning feature documentary, The Cove, was born. And I highly recommend that you watch it if you haven't already. It is extremely heartbreaking and gruesome to watch, but it's necessary to watch. It is also through this project that they have been successfully able to end the slaughtering of dolphins in the Solomon Islands. They continuously bring more awareness worldwide about the cruel and outdated practice of captivity. The Dolphin Project is also the longest running anti-captivity dolphin welfare organization in the world. If you'd like to learn more about the fantastic work that they've done over the years, I will put the link right here for their website and again in the description below. If you'd like to see more videos like this of people making an impact on the oceans around the world, please let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Just make sure you hit that bell notification to get notified of new videos I post here weekly. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.